Okay, now we've created the, um, the two planes, uh, planar's uh, maps here, or surfaces, I should say, planar surfaces. And what I'm going to do is right click on the bottom one and go to Trim Edge. That will allow me to click on the edge here um, and get a yellow line on that so it's selected. Then I'm going to uh, hold my Shift key down and right click on the top area. Uh, surface and go to trim edge again then I'll let it go of my shift and then I'll come back and select shift again and then click my other edge and now if I have both of these selected I will do a loft now I have a loft between the two surfaces that I've uh, worked with here and uh, that is uh, kind of a special type of loft that I don't want to delete the history on because we're going to move this area uh, with uh, another object and we don't want that to move. Now what I just did was to, uh, to template that top area so that as I work with this uh, surface that I've been working with I won't select it. So what I did was select that surface, right click on the um, box surface in the layers area and then assign that material to that selection and that allowed me to uh, have the T there and template that object okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to start moving toward um, putting a uh, cylinder in here so that that cylinder can be kind of the hinge that uh, will be used to look like it operates the surface now I'm going to go to NURBS Primitive and use a cylinder, but I'll go to the option window and um, I'll reset the settings and I know that I want this to sit on the Z axis so that it sits flat on the ground and it's along with the uh, back of the surface that I'm working with and I'm going to cap both ends and so uh, now I'll, I think I'll leave everything pretty much the way it is. Uh, I'll leave the height, but I'm going to change the radius to 0.25. I don't want it to stay at one; it's a little too large. And then I'll hit uh, Create. I'm going to use the Scale tool. I'm going to scale uh, in the center uh, piece uh, using the uh, using the yellow uh, I'm just looking at the inputs there and I'll pull this object the cylinder out I'm going to use the move tool and bring the cylinder back to the back of the uh, of the uh, jack of the box of the jack in the box and then I'm going to look at it from kind of the top and I'll pull this cylinder kind of up using the uh, tool the manipulator and then I'll pull it in kind of in place there so that it appears that it sits okay I'm going to make that a, a smooth shade all surface so I can see this a little better and I'll kind of pull that into place so but I want this uh, cylinder hinge to be almost the same width as the uh, back so I'll pull it out a little bit and I'm using that cylinder to represent a uh, hinge that will act on the back side of the uh, 